please support Matt's movie reviews on Patreon. Get access to exclusive content, request movie reviews and top 10 lists, and help support my work. Please click on the Patreon link in the description below. Hi, my name is Matthew Perkovich from Matt's Movie Reviews, and this is my top 10 serial killer movies. At number 10 is No Man of God. Several movies and TV shows have been made about serial killer Ted Bundy, but No Man of God is the best one yet. No Man of God focuses on the last years of Bundy's life as he awaits execution on death row. During that time, rookie FBI profiler Bill Hagmeyer, played by an excellent Elijah Wood, interviews a notoriously reluctant Bundy to get to the crux of his psychosis and why he killed. Directed by Amber Seeley, No Man of God delves into the evil that drove one of mankind's most infamous monsters to kill, and does so with an intimacy that is engrossing and startling. Performances all around are terrific, especially from Luke Kirby, who, as Bundy, brilliantly straddles the line between charming and creepy, always evoking a sense of danger that seeps through his pores. Number 9. Natural Born Killers Oliver Stone's hyperkinetic meditation on violence in the media is a highlight amongst the director's many controversial films. Natural Born Killers is also a stinging condemnation of the unholy marriage between violence and entertainment in its depiction of serial killer lovebirds Mickey, played by Woody Harrison, and Mallory, played by Juliette Lewis, and their reign of terror across the United States that plays out on TV screens. Natural Born Killers features Stone at his most fearsome both thematically and visually. Stone throws everything on the screen and not only manages to make it stick, but also draws out career-defining performances by its cast, which also includes Tommy Lee Jones and Tom Sizemore. At number 8 is Citizen X. An engrossing and chilling made-for-cable release, Citizen X portrays the 10-year hunt for serial killer Andre Chikatilo, also known as the Butcher of Rostov during 1980s era Soviet Union. Steven Raya stars as a forensic specialist whose continual investigation into the serial killer responsible for the deaths of 52 people is constantly hindered by Soviet bureaucrats who are more concerned with the negative image this can have upon the USSR. Directed by Chris Geronimo, Citizen X not only succeeds as an investigating thriller into the most savage serial killer in Russian history, but it also depicts the frustrating and stifling environment of communist tyranny in which Chikatilo was able to kill undetected. Number 7. American Psycho Although Christian Bale first made his debut back in 1987 in the war drama The Empire of the Sun, he would truly make an impact as investment banker and serial killer Patrick Bateman in the pitch black comedy thriller American Psycho. Based on the novel of the same name by acclaimed author Brett Easton Ellis, the Mary Harron directed American Psycho features Bale portraying the homicidal Bateman as a psychopath in the purest form acting the part of slick finance man during the day while reveling in his true nature as a killer and sadist after work hours. Bale's astonishing performance is truly something to behold, presenting Bateman as a vision of perfection on the outside while descending into manic chaos within. Number 6. Sweeney Todd the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. The seventh collaboration between director Tim Burton and his equally eccentric star Johnny Depp Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, saw the pair at their darkest and indeed bloodiest. Based on the musical created by Stephen Sondheim and Hugh Wheeler, Sweeney Todd tells the story of Wrong the Barber Sweeney Todd, played by Johnny Depp, and his revenge upon the aristocrat, played by Alan Rickman, who destroyed his life, with many innocent people feeling the sting of Sweeney's blade. Also starring Helena Bonham Carter and Sasha Baron Cohen, or singing a tune while the body count rises, Sweeney Todd is indeed a one-of-a-kind serial killer movie. Number 5. Psycho Psycho stars Anthony Perkins as Norman Bates, a mild-mannered hotel proprietor who suspects his over-domineering mother of killing his female occupants. It is hard to deny the influence that Psycho holds on the horror genre, with the now infamous shower scene featuring a naked Janet Leigh, 
a knife-wildering murderer, Elmer Bernstein's shrieking score, and a stream of blood running down a drain, an iconic and nightmare-inducing sequence which set the bar for more to follow. Perhaps more important is that Psycho thrust the thriller genre into the twisted psychosis of the serial killer, with director Alfred Hitchcock peeling away at the normal facade of Norman Bates, revealing a homicidal madman with a bad case of mama's boy syndrome. Number 4. The Silence of the Lambs The Silence of the Lambs features a unique mix of police procedural, gothic horror, and psychological thriller to enthrall and scare the bejesus out of any movie watcher. Directed by Jonathan Demme, The Silence of the Lambs stars Jodie Foster as Clarice Starling, an FBI agent who forms a unique bond with psychotic psychiatrist Hannibal the Cannibal Lecter, played by Anthony Hopkins in a career best performance. Starling, meanwhile, is investigating another serial killer in the form of human skin collecting Buffalo Bill, played by a very creepy Ted Levine. A disturbing, tense and suspense filled crime thriller, The Silence of the Lambs is a serial killer movie that has rarely been bettered. Number three is Seven. One of the best serial killer movies, Seven stars Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt as mismatched cops who are on the hunt of a serial killer who uses the seven deadly sins as inspiration. Seven is the first classic from master filmmaker David Fincher who bounced back from the critically panned Alien 3 with a crime thriller that has been seared into the brains of many movie fans everywhere, with its intelligent mystery and grimy rain-soaked aesthetic still holding a powerful effect decades later. With an uncredited Kevin Spacey delivering chills as the murderous John Doe and an ending to end all endings, Seven is an undeniable work of visual and thematic power. Number 2. M. Fritz Lang's classic noir M is an iconic film for many reasons. Among them, it gave us a chilling monster in the form of Peter Lorre's whistling child murderer Hans Beckert. Despite the film being over 90 years old, M still packs quite a punch. Not many scary movie moments have been able to top the chilling scene where Hans looks at his reflection in the mirror nor have many serial killer movies tackled the emotions of grief and anger from the victim's families as M does in its final scenes. Number 1. Zodiac Based on true events surrounding the exploits and manhunt of a serial murderer who terrorized the San Francisco Bay Area during the late 1960s and early 1970s, Zodiac is a tale of obsession, told through an investigation of a police officer played by Mark Ruffalo, a journalist played by Robert Downey Jr., and a cartoonist played by Jake Gyllenhaal, who, oddly enough, came closer than anyone in solving the mystery of just who is the Zodiac. Director David Finch's methodical approach and knack for the visual left no stone unturned in his recreation of these events in the environment they were setting. Perhaps more important for this list is Finch's ability to recreate the Zodiac Killer's many violent atrocities, which he does so with a deft hand for tension and a realistic approach to violence, with some sequences simply too horrific to endure. Sure, the Zodiac may run for three hours, but it is time well spent. Thank you for watching the Matt's Movie Reviews channel. Please subscribe for more reviews, podcast interviews, and exclusive content. Also, if you would like to request a review and support my work, please join my Patreon via the link in the description below.